So we had a question from uh, Ms. Queen, which I think is an excellent one. She just posted it like a couple seconds ago. So I'm going to put her to the front of the line. Is this the right time to buy? And that was actually something I was thinking about too, because uh, I know a number of people who bought Bitcoin at 30,000 and then it dropped to five and then they, somebody else bought it at like 59.9 and it dropped to 30 something or 25. And of course they're crying all the way down. So is this the right time to be buying houses? Like, are we at the top of the market or you know, does it matter? It's a fabulous question because I had a wonderful conversation with a real estate agent just on Saturday. In fact, I'm going to be talking about this this coming Saturday, but we had such a great conversation and she and her client and I had a conversation by phone and it turns out her client has $200,000 to put down. Uh, I thought it was $100,000, but I went back and read her application. By the way, she's already submitted her application. We've already been able to screen her application. So we know where she stands financially. And the answer is, this is a great time to buy when you have a customer, when you have a customer. So imagine that you have a customer with $200,000 to put down and you can verify their income and you find that this customer can actually qualify for a million dollar home. Now, imagine that you can buy that million dollar home for say seven, eight, nine hundred thousand. Who cares? Some number below a million dollars. We I've already explained our business model and explained that, hey, we cannot buy it for one price and sell it for the same price. We do have to have a markup in there. And listen, as long as I've been doing this, nobody has a problem. Nobody has an issue with it. And you are there lifeline, you're their safety net. You're the ability for them to purchase a property and have write-offs that they can use on their tax returns. So it makes perfect sense for them to do it. Well, sure enough, we, the agent that brought the buyer is now finding a property for me to purchase for the buyer to move into. So just think about that. I'm not worried about this market at all because the way we do business is different than a traditional real estate investor. Traditional real estate investor goes and finds the property first. They fix it up to their own tastes second, and then they put it on the market and hope they find a buyer that likes their taste and, and likes the location that they're in. We do it completely different. We go find the buyer first, and then we look at their complete financial situation. Then we go find the property. Those of you who are joining me this weekend uh, on Saturday, in fact, July the 10th, you are going to get a really strong dose of exactly what I just shared, because I'm going to be going through that step by step and you'll be able to take advantage of that in your own world, because you're going to be shocked and amazed how many customers there are out there that you can serve. You can make a big difference in their lives simply by finding out what they want, how much they can afford, and then going and finding a property for them. So thank you for the question. That's a great one.